Good now. All right, cool. All right. So we're going to get uh, get going here. As I said, um, I apologize for the delay. I didn't even mean for this to be a long webinar. Right now. It's like, you know, 15 minutes late and stuff like that. So I appreciate you guys, um, you know, sticking, sticking out with me uh, for that. But um, we're just going to pop it off with a, a poll here. And um, you should see the poll. So basically uh, popping in there, it says, do you have written goals? And if you could just vote. Um, you know that would be great, and I'd love to um, love to see if you guys have written goals yet. Yeah. All right, so we still, we still got some some polls coming in, so I'll let you guys do that. Um, but yeah, I'm set up in my new brand new um, you know office space here, and it's pretty cool. So, all right, so what I want to do is I want to do um, a, a little screen share. So first, I want to tell you a story about the jar. And the professor. So basically, what happened was, you know, there was this this professor, and what he did was he filled this jar up with with rocks. Okay, and then he asked the class, okay, you know, is is the jar full? You may have heard this story before. And they say yes, obviously, because it, it looks full. Then what he does is he takes some pebbles and puts them all on top of the uh, in, into the jar as well gives a little shake and the pebbles fall between these these bigger rocks that are in the jar okay and then what he did was he put sand in okay well he asked that you know is, is the jar full and they're like yeah you can't fit anything else in there so then he put sand in and again you know gave it a little shake poured a bit more sand in and all the sand filled out around everything on on the jar and then finally, he says to the class, is it full now? And the class is like, yeah, that's full. You can't put anything more in that jar. You're crazy. Um, so then he took a, a bottle of water and, you know, poured it in. And again, you know, most of the bottle of water, you know, filled up the jar. Okay. So what's the purpose of that story? Well, the purpose of that story is to recognize that, you know, you have to do things in a certain way if you want to get them all in the jar because then at the end you know there was you know a, a jar and if you put in let's say the sand first and then the pebbles and then the rocks you wouldn't fit it all in okay and that's a, I think an important um, important story and we'll get to that in just one quick second but first I want to just turn off this poll and um, let's end this poll all right so we have about 46% of people that have written goals. Awesome. That, uh, that rocks. That's pretty cool. And um, let me – all right. So about 46% have goals written down. That's awesome. I always love the end of the year and the beginning of the next year because I really – you know, do a lot of playing. And this year has been, actually it's been kind of different because I've been, you know, playing with some different uh, tools for kind of planning out my whole year and stuff like that. 15% uh, said no, okay? Um, and to that 15%, yeah, you, you should definitely, you know, write some write some goals down. And 38% say not yet, but I will this week, okay? And, you know, that's okay because you got to realize goals are always in a state of flux. You want to have goals written down, but you know, you really want to do them at, at, a, at a certain time. All right, so I'm going to jump back into this um, uh, screen here, okay? All right, and uh, what you should see is um, not what you're seeing. So let me let me just uh, share the right thing here. Screen sharing. All right, I'm going to screen share my entire screen. All right. All right. So this is the uh, that's the story that, that we just went through. Okay. So here's what's important for you. It matters what you choose to do first. And this is probably one of the most important things that you'll understand. Um, I've done a lot of coaching with high impact people. Um, I've learned from them. I've taught a lot of other people and what you choose to do is really important. Okay, so the big idea of the secret when that when that became really popular was, you know, what you think about you bring about, and what you you know your thoughts matter. Okay, a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, 
when it comes to productivity, the whole thing is it's what you choose to do, okay, with the time that you have. So I want to give you guys this weekly one sheet, okay, and it's a PDF download, and you can go to this link right now and uh, and and get that one sheet, okay. And we'll we'll leave this up for uh, for a little bit, so you can actually get the uh, the worksheet, okay. Very important. So AMHQ Assets S three dot amazon aws dot com forward slash one sheet dash weekly dot p d f okay so guys i want you to um you know download that now okay and then when you go download that um it, it's a pdf document okay it's a weekly document so what you're going to do is you're going to get like a binder or a uh, what are those called a duo tag and you're going to put all of your weeks stacked into that duo tag okay and you know you you can just start with you know you, your first four let's say um and print this off and you are going to complete one for every week okay so every single week it's like kind of like a weekly overview i'll get to some stuff at the, at the very end but um you know go here now uh open it up in a new tab or or write it down and, and you can grab it at the end of the uh, the presentation all right so this is the work the worksheet Okay, it's basically a one-page worksheet. You fill it out once for each week. At the top here, you're gonna have the uh, the date. Okay, so that's where you put like week one, you know. And if you do, you know, more, um, you know, January first or whatever, you know, you can you can do that. Um, I like putting in, you know, week one and then January, so I kind of know what what month I'm in at at the same time. The next part you'll see there's a space and it says focus for this week. Okay. And what that is for is, you know, on, you're going to pick one day a week. Okay. Before you start your week. So Sunday might be a good day uh, for people. Saturday might be a good day if you, if you kind of, you know, visualize your week starting on Sunday. Um, but once a week, you're going to take some quiet time. Okay. And it's very important that, that you, 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 you know, you're not doing this where you're distracted you're quiet you know you go somewhere quiet um and you write this stuff all out and believe me if you just do this one thing you're going to have far better results in your whole year and your whole life okay and i'm just going to go through this quickly so you focus for what what's this week so you want to pick one thing now this is kind of like the rocks okay you want to pick one thing the biggest thing the most important thing the most challenging thing you know whatever you're going to be focusing on this week because you're going to be looking at this page every single day uh, multiple times a day okay this is going to be your compass if you will that's going to keep you in line and and you know help you be successful now the three mit's okay mit stands for most important task okay so these are your three big rocks so you may have seven things that you want to get done these are the three most important and how you measure the most important are the things that are actually going to move you forward in your business okay so there's things that are urgent but and, and that and that could be one of these things but you really want to pick things that are really important and um you know that, that you can get done because what people tend to do is they even if they know the important thing they won't necessarily do those most important things uh, right away you know they'll they'll delay them and do other tasks that they need to get done but aren't necessarily important so those are the three big rocks so those are the three rocks that you're dipping into your jar okay next the whole thing about internet marketing and, and not a lot of people recognize this is the learning challenge so what the learning challenge is is there's so many things that you have to learn about as an internet marketer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick every week and we're gonna pick one thing there. So for example, that could be, you know, learn, um, you know, app store optimization, uh, you know, learn how to create a podcast. You're just gonna pick one thing, okay? Learn how to, you know, SEO YouTube videos. Uh, learn how to, you know, engage better on Facebook. Whatever it is, there's one thing that you need to learn. You probably have a lot of stuff on your hard drive already that you haven't gone through. And instead of, you know, looking at that and being overwhelmed and be, oh, I got to learn this, I got to learn that, I got to learn that, you're just going to pick one thing a week. I mean, now next week, it can be something different. 
you know, or if you didn't, you know, you're still learning that, then, you know, carry forward and, and, and do that again. This is going to change your life if you do this. Um, next is a networking challenge. Okay. What, one of the trends I see a lot in terms of um, online marketing is more people are doing less kind of real networking and they're doing more like, you know, hope to make money online and I'm going to spam my link out and, you know, not really talk to anyone. So what this networking challenge is about is you're going to pick one person or maybe a few people that you want to network with, that you really want to kind of get to know better, um, that you want to, you know, engage with. And that could be networking, you know, just let's say on Facebook or, you know, it might be getting someone on the phone, you know, like finding someone that, that um, you know, you appreciate or whatever and, you know, want to, you know, get to know better. Maybe they, they have something that you want want to learn or something like that. So network and really engage. And this is going to get you out of that shell, okay, because people tend to get into a shell, a comfort zone, and they don't want to leave. And again, that's something that, that can be a, a real problem. All right. Now, number three is the balance challenge, okay? So this is what you're going to do um, in order to create more balance in your life. Okay, and what I mean by that is, you know, there's a lot of very successful people in this industry who, quite frankly, are workaholics. And, you know, no one really talks about it, but, you know, that's kind of a problem. For me, it's, I'm, it's very important for me that I spend time with my son, that I spend time, you know, with my family, that I spend time relaxing, that I spend time, you know, doing things that I like, like, like watching uh, a movie or, or a documentary or something. So you want to think about that balance because if you're always on and you're always wired, you're going to have problems, okay? Um, and people, you know, are going to have adrenal problems. And, you know, so you want to have some balance. So instead of being work all the time, you want to think about some things that you're going to do that are, that are not work. So for me, oftentimes that's painting. Um, I took up oil painting a few years ago. I love doing that. Um, I'm also going to start doing um, – uh, uh, you know, play more soccer because I love soccer. And um, I want you to think about that balance, you know, what, what that might be for you. I mean, that might be going to bed at a certain time. That might be, you know, um, uh, meditating, whatever it is, you know, just think of something that's going to give you more balance. And then your health. Um, one of the things that I've done, actually, Marie and I uh, both, um, you know, for the last three months, um, actually lost 30 pounds and went from, uh, I think, a 30, a 20, 24 BMI to like a uh, 17 or something, something like that, um, just over the last three months. So, you know, if you don't take care of your health, then, you know, that's not good as well. So focus on something each week that's going to help, you know, your health. Maybe that's drinking enough water. You know what I mean? Focus on drinking more, more water. Maybe that's having a low information day. Um, you know, where you're not online, where you're not plugged in. Maybe that's, you know, walk in the woods. All right, next up, positive mantra, okay? Now, this is something that, you know, as you go through, I, I, I suspect a lot of people are going to have trouble coming up with this because it you know, really requires you to kind of engage with your intuition. This can be whatever you want. It's something kind of, kind of like what your focus is for the week, but on more of a, of a deeper level, on more of a, um, you know, overall level. This could be, you know, based on uh, your business, based on, you know, you personally. Maybe it's like, you know, for example, engagement, right? Um, so, so your mantra is, you know, I'm, I'm going to engage better on Facebook. And, you know, that's, you know, just something to kind of remind you and let that shift gradually, you know, and over the course of the year. Um, and if you try to do that and you just try to go with something, what you're going to find is that, you know, because life, I, I believe life puts things in your, in your way for a reason. And as you start to, you know, understand that, um, you know, then, you know, it's going to, it's going to be showing you things that you need to learn. Right. So just be open to that. And that will have a major impact on your life. And if you're just joining us, so uh, once again, you know, here is the, uh, the link to download the one sheet. Um, it's a little bit long, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I could have shortened that up. 
but uh, I'm in the process of redesigning my blog, so I didn't want to put a link on my blog in case it was uh, in case it was down temporarily. All right. So important personal events. This is just if you have a couple of things that are like you know out of the ordinary uh, that you just want to be mindful of. Um, you know, so you know you you know oh you know this is this is happening this week. You know maybe it's a it's a party you have to go to or or something like that. And then project A and project B. Um, I tend to find myself working on multiple projects at the same time. And you know what that could be is basically building, let's say, your business. That could be project A, okay. And then project B could be you know maybe more like like building a, a marketing funnel or, or, or kind of doing marketing, right? Because, um, you know, that could be a separate thing. Maybe you're, you're, you're learning how to, how to create landing pages or, you know, you're putting together um, your own product, let's say. And, uh, you know, so, you know, that's your B project, you know, where you're, where you're going to do stuff. So try to limit it to just, uh, just those two things until you get them done. It's, it's much better to try and get things done than to do multiple things at once. But at the same time, you know, just because of the nature of the internet, I find personally that it's good for me to, to kind of have this parallel approach um, because, you know, uh, that's that's kind of the, the, the nature of, you know, how things, uh, how things work. So that's the one sheet and uh, you guys got a link to it. Um, you know, I just want to talk real quickly about uh, most important tasks uh, before I end this. Picking your most important tasks and, and, and really using this worksheet, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to find that you're going to limit yourself to the most essential high value tasks, okay? This is the equivalent of not straightening out your desk and moving pencils, but actually doing high value work that's going to produce revenue in your business. Number two, what this worksheet is going to do is it's going to help you prepare in advance before life throws stuff at you, before you know social media throws stuff at you, and before email. Okay, and this is important because it's 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 all about you having that that you know when, what I started with you know was about you making that choice, you making that decision as you move forward. So when you turn on your computer and the first thing you check is your email, you can become disempowered because you can waste time doing stuff instead of getting your most important tasks done. Same thing with social media. If your phone is always on, you're always getting notifications, you know, you can start acting and, and find that a couple hours have gone by without you really having, you know, had a lot of, of, of thought, a lot of, um, you know, choice that you've kind of put into, into what's going on. And so you'll always be dealing with someone else's agenda and that's not good. And then number three, you need to enact this plan consistently. Okay, if you do do this for one week, it's going to be great. Um, you know, beginning of the year, hey, that's great. But where you really start to to pay dividends is when you do this, even when it becomes boring or you don't feel like doing it. It's about the consistency. That's going to change your life in in 2015. Okay, so here's a quote: You only have 52 weeks to create your life this year. And those go a lot quicker than you think. I mean, you know, I remember Christmas. I'm like, what? Is Christmas already? Crazy. So it's 52 weeks, 52 of these worksheets. And if you do that consistently, you're going to have massive results that are going to happen. And here's the thing. You know, um, for me, I think one of the, one of the uh, losses of social media is that it, it discourages Reflection, you know, in our society, there's always, um, you know, distraction. There's always social media. There's always, you know, all this stuff. And I think what people need in order to one, feel happy, and two, um, you know, get the right stuff done is you need reflection. So actually, having this worksheet forces you to have a weekly reflection, and when you do that, you're going to achieve a whole lot more. Okay, so pick a day, either Saturday or Sunday, where, you know, that's the end of your week and you're going to do this and, you know, you're going you're gonna to get it done, right? So here's a quote from Abraham Lincoln. Give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'll spend the first hour sharpening the axe, the first four uh, hours sharpening the axe, um, which is interesting, right? What I like about this is that, you know, it's really about taking that time 
to reflect and plan what you're going to do rather than running around being busy and being like a chicken with your head cut off. Okay. And also it's, um, the other thing that's important about it is it's, it's, I don't know if you guys, um, you know, are familiar with, uh, I'll go back here for a second, uh, knives, right? So if you're, if you're cutting vegetables or whatever with a sharp knife, it's a heck of a lot easier. And I, I really like working with sharp knives and you can really, really, you know, realize that, you know, dull knives are terrible to work with. And if you haven't had your knives sharpened in a long time, then, you know, I would go in and, you know, take them to wherever does that for you. Like uh, here there's a guy at the, uh, you know, I drop him off at the home hardware and they, you know, send them to some guy and then he sharpens them. But anyhow, um, the point is, is that as you cut, the, the knife blade actually becomes, um, let me, let me kind of demonstrate this. All right. Um, all right, so as you cut, the knife blade actually becomes like, like instead of like nice and flat like a piece of paper, it becomes kind of bent and, and little bits go like back and forth on, on either side of the, of the knife blade. So what happens is by, sh by, by uh, sharpening it, what you do is you bring it back into alignment, okay? And, you know, if you're, I mean, tomato's a great test. You can cut a tomato with your knife easily then you're good. If you gotta like saw back and forth, or you gotta use a serrated knife, then you you know your knives aren't aren't sharp enough. And you know I think that that that's an apt reflection for you know this this worksheet that that you guys have now in your hands, because this worksheet, if you do it, it's keeping your mind sharp, it's keeping your your business sharp, and it's keeping your priorities straight. And I think that that is uh, super important. So um, we have another poll, and um, what I want to do is ask you guys, are you excited to start using this tool to enhance your results in 2015? Okay, I'll, I'll give you some time uh, to do that. All right, so I'm just, just checking out some of the comments here. Gene, yeah, so he's, he's with me on the, on the uh, reflection. Um, and yeah, he, he does that weekly review as well. All right, cool. MITs. All right, so we have someone that's that's wondering what uh, MITs are. Okay, and uh, basically, your MIT is your most important task. Um, you know, so the whole idea is that there's an unlimited things that you could do, particularly when you're doing online marketing, um, and you need to pare that down to what is essential what is the most important thing what are those big rocks that if you get them done early on in the beginning of the week they're going to have a huge impact over you know your week and your life and 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 so on and so forth and i think that that's really important so um that's what the mit's is and and um you know i'll send out the uh, the replay of course and that's uh, pretty much it I, I really want to keep this short it's gone a little bit longer than than um you know, I wanted it to, but uh, make sure that you, you do that vote. And then the other thing that I wanted to say is just, you know, if you have any uh, feedback or if you learned something, then you can certainly just shoot me an email, um, you know, to Andrew. I'll just put it in the chat box here. Uh, Andrew at the marketing couple .com. And let me know what you learned. You know, let me know if, if, you know, you got value out of this. I always love actually hearing people's feedback and uh and stuff you know if you want to you know shoot a video and and or uh you know just just give me some text about you know something that you learned or something like that um i appreciate that you know so and it it, it helps me know that people are are listening and you know they're finding it important as well and, and, and they're getting value out of that so um that folks is um all i got Nothing to buy, just uh, just a worksheet that will help you know you have a tremendous, tremendous 2015. All right, so thanks guys. Um, I look forward to your, for, for your uh, feedback, and don't forget to uh, do the poll right there. I'm just going to end this uh, end this poll right now. Uh, you should have had time to uh, to do that. All right, cool. 
So people are really excited about, uh, actually over 90% are super excited about uh, using this worksheet. And um, yeah, it's just a tool. So you know, it's only as good as, as you guys putting it in action. But thanks so much for being on the webinar. And uh, I look forward to um, not being late on the next one. <laughs> actually, it was a technical issue, but uh, same thing. All right. So guys, thanks so much for being on the webinar. I'll see you later.